suspect lived here in this home behind me on Maryland in Flint, and we did just learn some new information. We did speak with an attorney in Virginia who represented the suspect, an Israeli-born suspect who got a green card and permanent residency status in 2005. Totally out of character. I tell you, he, he was really soft spoken and nice guy. I never heard him raise his voice. He was obviously in love with his former wife. I understand they're divorced now. His job at the time was that he did, I believe it was one of these assisted living uh, um, facilities where he took care of old people. He was an Israeli citizen. But because he was of Arab descent, he couldn't serve in their armed forces. Did he ever tell you why he came to the U.S.? Yeah, to go to college. Where did he go to college? Somewhere in Detroit, and it might have been a junior college. He came here on a student visa, that much I know. Now, back here live, investigators tell us that Abuelazam lived right next door to his uncle in that house. Neighbors tell me that he moved into this house here in April, and they most recently saw him just this past week. Reporting live in Flint, I'm Anu Prakash, Channel 7 Action News. And Anu, have any of those killings taken place close to where he was living? Yeah, believe it or not, we just spoke to uh, one family, loved ones of David Motley. They tell me that he was the first victim in the serial stabbing cases. He was stabbed and killed while just walking home from the store. That happens to be just two blocks away from the suspect's home. All righty. Thank you, Anu.